Hi, this is Matthew, and today I'm talking about how you can be the best person you can be on video calls and other different mediums that you might need to be dealing with right now as part of the coronavirus stuff. A lot of people I know use video calls sometimes, but they don't live their whole life in them. I've worked from home for a few years. I live a lot of my life on video calls and I think I'm pretty darn good at it. So I want to share with you some of the things I find really useful about how I can show up the best I can in online contexts like the video calls. If you're new here, my name is Matthew and my goal is to spark you to think differently so you can create new possibilities for yourself in your life. And I'm outside because I wanted to get some fresh air, be somewhere different, do something different because I've spent, like a lot of you, probably a lot of time indoors recently and I just wanted to get out and do something different. So video calls, I'm on them all the time, you're probably on them a lot now. How do we create connection with others in that sort of medium? It's a challenge and it's not something a lot of people are very used to. It's something I've worked on a lot and the key thing that I really suggest you do in a video call context to create connection is one of them is really obvious, it's be vulnerable. Share what's going on for you. Be really as authentic as you possibly can in what you say. If you're having a really crap day, if you're really upset about something, it's okay to share that. Some context obviously it's not, but where possible, be as honest as you can about what's really going on for you. The next thing you can do is check in with your body really stop and take a moment, take a breath before you jump into whatever it is that you're doing to notice are your feet on the floor, are your shoulders tight, maybe they're loose, what's going on with your body. When I check in with that with myself, I notice that it points me to things that I might need to deal with in the conversation or in the meeting I'm part of. Maybe I need to say something and I haven't said it and so my shoulders get a bit tight and if I notice my shoulders are tight I can then get the prompt to say what I know I need to say. And the final thing that I really recommend you do in the online video context to create connection is to reach out to people. If someone's quiet on one side of the screen just check in with them and go hey I'm really wanting to know how you're going. What's going on for you right now? Do you have any, let us in on what's going on for you. And people often really appreciate being invited to contribute and be invited to be valuable as part of what's going on. And for me, it's a really an opportunity to show leadership, to ask, to question, to engage people and to do my best to really be present with what's going on. So there's a few things as well in the video stuff where I do. One of them is I always hide myself for you. If I can hide myself, that's good. Otherwise I get distracted with looking at myself a lot. The next thing I do is I make it full screen. If at all I can make it full screen, if I have to take notes or something on another screen, I do that on a separate screen. But I wanna have as much of the screen full with people's faces as I, as I can. I also want to make sure my setup is as good as it can possibly be so that I don't get distracted around the audio not working. I have a Jabra Speak 510, they're fantastic and I highly recommend them for use for video calls because they take away any kind of issues with audio and that makes a massive difference. So. Those are some things to consider about how to show up on video calls. And my invitation is, can you be as honest and as open and as vulnerable as you possibly can? Because you modeling it provides a template for others that they can copy, they can follow your example and be the best person they can be. You might be all engaged and reading lots of news and being engaged with media at the moment and if that's you, that was certainly me a few weeks ago. I have a video that I did last week on how distracted I was getting with all the coronavirus news. So if you're interested in that, there's a link up here. And until next week, the journey continues.